Okay, Gen X, hold on to your seats. I love this generation. I love this generation because you're the strange generation. <laughs> I know there's a lot of you out there and I'll listen to the laughter, but I think Gen Xers, in my lifetime, I hope there is a wing in the Smithsonian that says welcome to Gen X because you're different. You were raised totally different than millennials. You're the generation that could stay outside and ride their bikes until the street lights come on, right? Till the street lights come on. Your baby boomer mom said, get outside. And if you came home early, she'd kick you back out and lock the door. You can't get in until 9 o'clock. I have things to do. Get outside. <laughs> You're laughing. This will never happen again. <laughs> Today, I was just sitting with a group, and he had his door. He'd go, oh, there are my kids. Oh, I see them. Oh, oh my gosh. They were, we're checking on your kids on our phones. It's, it's creeping me out. <laughs> Today, moms sit outside with their little chair and their glass of wine. You can ride your bike from here to the stop sign and back. Oh, look at them. They're so independent. <laughs> Who's taking notes? <laughs> Gen X, I love you. You're warped. Why? OK, baby boomers, we did this to you. The marketing department did this to them. Hey. Let's put lost children on milk cartons. <laughs> what a great idea. You're eating your Wheaties. Remember Bruce when he was on the Wheaties? Bruce Jenner's on the Wheaties. You, oh my gosh, the neighbor's missing. <laughs> Halloween, here's a pillowcase. Go out there and get whatever you want, but don't eat anything. Because the, who knows, the neighbor could have put pins or razor blades. What would that do to your 10-year-olds? You told your 10-year-old today there's pins and razor blades in the milk duds? Scare the willies out of them. <laughs>